non-conference play is over. The Texas State Bobcats will face nothing but Sunbelt opposition for the remainder of the 2017 season. A stretch that begins this afternoon against the streaking ULM Warhawks, a team playing for a 3-0 start in conference play. While well, the Bobcats are looking to even their Sunbelt record at 1-1. One one. Third down and six from the 20. Snap to Evans, throwing towards the end zone. Leaping catch is made. Back left corner. Touchdown, Brian Williams. Snap is back. Four-man rush, ULM. Williams stepping up, throwing left, got a receiver open inside of midfield and down to the Warhawk 45-yard line. Nice play design there by Texas State. Williams at her center, running left himself into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas State. Bobcats, a swinging gate look here in the PAT. They'll throw it into the end zone, intercepted, and a chance to take it back for two for ULM the other way. And the defender will do just that, Caleb Tucker. Goes 100 yards for pick two, and ULM is on top nine to six. Handoff to Luckett up the middle, and he is driven back. Or no, they're gonna say he crossed the plane first. Touchdown, ULM. Snap to Williams, play fake, looking over the middle, has Elijah King. A first down grab running a slant across the 25 and down to the 32 yard line. Second and four, shotgun snap back to Williams, handoff. No, play fake, throwing left, pass the receiver inside of ULM territory and down to the 42 yard line. Hutch White makes the catch. Snap to Williams, play fake. Really good protection going deep, far side. Got a receiver wide open. Tyler Watts, touchdown, Texas State. At the ULM 47, third down and 11. Motion from Hutch White under center is Williams. Fakes to White, now throws to him. He's throwing back to wide open player. Anthony Taylor, the 35, running right to the 20, and they will not catch him today. Touchdown, Texas State. Out of the shotgun, Williams, single receiver left to line up wide to the right. Handoff Taylor running to his left, cutting it outside. Has a block, 45-40, out of bounds. Out around the 35-yard line. How about this Saturday afternoon for Anthony A.T. Taylor? Hurry up offense, play fake, and a pass. Caught by wide open receiver R.J. Turner. Breaks a tackle to 15 and takes a defender with him into the end zone. Touchdown, ULM, R.J. Turner. Entertaining first half and the game far from over. To 30 minutes of action, your score, ULM 26, Texas State 20. Well, get some pressure on the quarterback and cover the receivers. I mean, we haven't done that all day long. Uh, our offense is showing up today, but our defense hasn't. So we got to find a way to, to get them stopped uh, uh, from throwing the ball. You matched your highest number of points on the board already in this game. How do you evaluate your offense? Well, right now, I mean, we're doing some good things, but we shot ourselves in the foot on two drives also. So we got to not have the penalties to put us behind the chains. Single receiver right, R.J. Turner trips left on third and seven from the 38. Snap to Evans, a four-man rush. Evans pressured, steps up, and down he goes. The Bobcats' first sack today. Back at the 31-yard line. Third down and one from his own 19. Williams out of center, calls his own number to his right, and the ball squirts free. Picked up by ULM, down to the 13-yard line. Second and seven, Bobcat 10. A fake to the pitch, running left. Evans keeps it himself. Fighting through the Bobcat defense and into the end zone for the touchdown. Motion from Green out of the slot, right to left. To give ULM a 14-point lead. Here's the blitz. Evans throws towards the end zone, intercepted. Taking it back to the 10, to the 15, to the 20. And that is not all. Still running down to the 42-yard line. Long way to run for easy on Yama to put up no points, but the Bobcats do keep it a 12-point deficit. ULM showing a blitz. The Warhawks will bring it five-man rush, and they're going to toss it to Tyler Watts running left and blockers. 35-30, cutting it outside the 20-yard line, out of bounds at the 19. Second and one, handoff Taylor. No keeper for Williams, who walks in untouched. Touchdown, Texas State. From their own 33. Takes a step, Evans looking to throw near side for Green, who is wide open. And Green takes the defender with him inside of midfield and breaks a tackle. He's loose and he's gone. 66 yards, touchdown ULM. Uh, not a good showing today, obviously. I didn't do a very good job as a head coach. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this many yards in a passing game uh, on any team I've ever been involved in. Uh, so we got to go back to work. We got a short week, got to go back to work. I thought our offensive coaches did a pretty good job of putting the plan together. Uh, 
you know, we're going to play tough, you know, opponents from here on out in our schedule. So uh, we got to continue to get better. We, we, we have to find a way to run the football. Uh, and when we stop running the football, two things happen. You stop running the football consistently, and you get penalties to put you behind the chains. Anytime that happens to any offense in America, maybe not Alabama, I don't know, but uh, you, don't, you don't have a whole lot of success. So we got to quit shooting ourselves in the foot. Final score from Bobcat Stadium, ULM 45, Texas State 27. The Texas State Bobcat football season is presented by HEB. We're the Wilsons and these are Slayton Bakery's Vanilla Wafers. Our homemade wafers have brought people together since 1923. It was here in this bakery where my grandparents met and fell in love. And ever since, people have fallen in love with our wafers because we make them our way from scratch, starting with great local ingredients. I guess H-E-B felt the love too. They picked us as a quest for Texas best winner. This is the best in Texas department at H-E-B. Look for these and other great primo picks at H-E-B. Let's go, boy. Right here. Be awesome to have this guy around all the time. Let's go, bud, like here. The lights all around. Let's go, bud, like here. Let's go, bud, like here. Let's go, bud, like oh, here. No. Let's go, bud, like here. I was wrong. This is where you belong. Now go before I change my mind. Let's go, bud, like here. Let's go, bud. Here's to the friends you can always count on. What do I like about Texas State? People watching on the quad. I love that we can express ourselves. Our campus is so beautiful. Bobcat football. The glass bottom boat. Our professors are amazing. When I see Old Main, I know I'm home. We're the only university in Texas to graduate a U.S. president. Downtown San Marcos is practically on campus. Our tech library. Soapbox Derby. I'm doing amazing research. I'm definitely jumping in the river at graduation. I'm just proud to be a Bobcat. Can I like say all my favorite things? <laughs> Our goal now is to try to transform the players in our program into a better football program, a better football team. An accountability level that's off the charts. Looking back quickly on the ball game, the great thing about playing a Thursday night game is you have to really quickly turn the page. So uh, I'm going to quickly turn the page. Uh, we did not play well enough on defense to win, and a lot of it was missed assignments and technique and fundamental errors uh, uh, that uh, were really uncharacteristic by some of our older guys. Uh, and really, that's kind of a theme throughout uh, offense, defense, and even special teams kind of a, a theme throughout. Uh, so we have to get better there. Some guys that did play well, uh, Jordan Mitty played uh, really, really well, I thought, uh, as far as the defense one. Jordan, Jordan's been really consistent, played really well for us uh, in the ball game. A uh, guy that's going to uh, gonna get his first start is uh, Savion Patton at nose. Uh, we feel like he is, uh, he is progressing really, really well for us. So uh, I, I think he's – uh, on a path to be that guy at, at nose for us moving forward. Um, Reese Jordan played really well, graded out better uh, than any offensive lineman. Uh, so that's a positive. Again, another young guy uh, up front. So it allowed us to move uh, Aaron Brewer to guard, and we feel comfortable with, with sticking with that. Now there's a big challenge this week because he's going to play some big guys up front uh, this week. So, But uh, he did really well. Uh, in the ball game the other night. Um, you know, I think of a couple plays in the ball game that uh, are, priv are pivotal. Uh, we're up 19, 20 to 19 uh, in the second quarter uh, with about 12 minutes left, third and 11. Uh, we've got a drop eight, cover two call with two hard corners. 
Uh, and Coach McCray has done an unbelievable job of teaching our kids when, when there's a screen or a scramble, the angles that we use. We talk about 90 degrees, 90 degrees. We watched that the other uh, yesterday in the meeting. We had one guy not go 90 degrees, and the quarterback slips and gets the first down. The next play, they score a touchdown. Uh, if we stop them there, they've got a punt, and we get the ball back, and we've got the lead. And uh, to me, that's one pivotal point in the ball game uh, that was uh, – you know, that was really big. Uh, the other one was a third and one on the four, in the third quarter with about eight minutes and uh, 30 seconds left, and we fumbled quarterback sneak. Uh, to me, those are, are pivotal, and I think they went down the score after that. So uh, you take those two plays. I always look at plays that turn the momentum of ball games, and to me, those two, turn, those two plays turn the momentum of, of the ball game. And uh, uh, we're not equipped yet. We're not... Uh, old enough, we're not uh, physically gifted enough yet, uh, enough playmakers yet to have those kind of plays for us to go win. Uh, we will, but, but right now we're not. Uh, so uh, those are the reasons you win and lose games in my mind. Uh, it's just particular plays in ball games. Uh, you know, I, I, think, I think as a head football coach, you know, when you got a, we got a team of, of kids trying to learn how to play college football. You've got to give them every resource uh, to be successful. And we do, we try to do everything from nutrition to harp on them about getting their rest, all those things, and, and, and give them, you know, give them reasons. You have to give, and again, I hate using this word, I'm, I'm tired of it, young teams. You've got to give them uh, a reason to go fight for each other. And uh, when you get older teams, they got it. They, they, they go fight for each other because they've been around each other the whole time. Uh, young teams, they're still trying to learn each other. Trying to, so I'm, we're trying to speed up that process. Uh, and sometimes you don't speed it up. It has to happen naturally. And uh, uh, what I'm learning, what I'm learning in this 2017 season is we got some great young kids, and I don't want to stunt their growth. I want to make sure that they continue to grow and get better. Sir Jeremy, you are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Madam Susan, you are an even truer friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. What is that? This is a spiced honey mead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the pit of misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of misery. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Here's to the friends you can always count on. What do I like about Texas State? People watching on the quad. I love that we can express ourselves. Our campus is so beautiful. Bobcat football. The glass bottom boat. Our professors are amazing. When I see Old Main, I know I'm home. We're the only university in Texas to graduate a U.S. president. Downtown San Marcos is practically on campus. Our tech library. Soapbox Derby. I'm doing amazing research. I'm definitely jumping in the river at graduation. I'm just proud to be a Bobcat. Can I like say all my favorite things? <laughs> They're tenacious, driven, and honestly, I think they're fun. Their energy level is great. Um, their energy level is great, and like I said, it's, it's thinking. The same pace, the same ideas, and they've got to be together. <laughs> uh, we have some finishers. They've just got some innate ability to know when to hit it and know how to finish. Um, so I'm excited about the firepower. With more than 30% of the Bobcats roster made up of freshman players, the Cats are one of the youngest teams in the country. With that youth, the Bobcats need guidance. One of the players providing that guidance 
is Bobcat senior inside linebacker Gabe Lloyd. Here's the blitz. Bobcats bring in six, and Montez is wrapped up, escapes, and then plowed down by Gabe Lloyd. Back at the 39-yard line, and it brings up four down. Uh, you know, different than, than maybe any junior college guy that I've ever been around. Uh, smart, sharp, good student. Uh, I, I've, I've always got this saying, they go to junior college for a reason. Uh, and, and I don't know why he went to junior college. You know, somebody screwed up in recruiting. Uh, basically, and he went to junior college because he wasn't recruited highly, and he should have been. Hand up, ID, and the Bobcats stuff him at the three-yard line. Gavin Graham again makes another play along with Gabe Lloyd, and the Bobcats get a turnover on downs. Recruiting-wise, I really didn't have like the looks I wanted, and I felt like I could play ball at the highest level. So I'm so thankful to be here at that level, like like dream come true. You know, being a little kid in the play at the Division One, really good Division One school. You know, ever since I've been here, I've been so impressed about the way he goes about his business on campus, off campus, practice, games, the whole the whole nine yards. Uh, you know, he's one of those guys that that uh, you, you know, I, I asked him to do things that I don't ask some of our other guys to do. Uh, I ask him to talk to other teammates to help them out. I don't ask other guys to do it. I ask him to do it. Uh, because I know he's mature enough to handle it. So uh, he's been a, a big piece of what we're trying to build here. Lamb back to throw, pressured, and sacked back at the 16-yard line. This Bobcat defense is relentless, and it brings up fourth down. Coach says it like this, uh, you have a pie, and you got to split it three ways. You either focus on school, you're on ball, or getting your body right. <laughs> and um, there's a lot of little subsections that go into those uh, different items, but that's really how I try to split my time, you know. You know, his maturity level, he can, he can talk. You know, as it, when it comes from, you know, it's like having a, uh, a, a dad trying to talk to a son. Sometimes that stuff goes in one ear and out the other when you're a head coach trying to talk to uh, Thurman Morbley. Sometimes it's like, you know, goes out, you know. But if Gabe Lloyd's talking to Thurman Morbley, it's like a big brother talking to Thurman Morbley. So, you know, I, I think guys listen to their teammates that are having success on and off the field. When you love to do something, you just, it's, it's, it's normal. You do the things that are necessary and you don't really think of it secondhand, like it, it's, it's natural. I really correlate off the field activity with on the field play. I mean, I just, I've, I've grown up that way in coaching and, and uh, you know, I've been the guy that's gone out and recruited guys that had, didn't have good character and head coach said, don't bring that guy in here. And uh, I've learned, you know, because once you bring that guy in here, he's yours. <laughs> you know, and all the warts that he has. So you try to get the guys with the least amount of warts, uh, and you try to get the guys with, you know, the, the, the guys that look good, that, that, that do the right thing off the field, that uh, are, are, are respectful, that uh, care about the community, that care about getting an education, because football's going to be over with one day. And, uh, you know, he's three point some 4.0 student uh, since he's been here. So, I mean, that, you come from junior college, he's a 4.0 student. So, you know. Uh, those are things that you don't, you, you rarely see. And uh, he's one of those guys that just seems uh, to have it. And, and uh, we're lucky, man. I'm going to tell you, Texas State is lucky to have that guy in, in, to go to school here. Really, really lucky. Our goal now is to try to transform the players in our program into a better football program, a better football team. An accountability level that's off the charts.
Turn up, turn up. There you go. Turn up, Sean. Do it right. Outside leverage. There you go. That's where you got to get his hands down, then get him back inside. Start off the loose footwork. Okay, you out here. Okay, you look like you're in hold up demeanor. You go and rush. Okay, go out to that one. Preston, I just want to see you go right, left. Okay, right, left. A little bit wider, right there. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, right, left, right, left. Now, quick now, because remember, look, the block spot's right there. You don't have to go very far, right? Okay, here we go, here we go. Set. Step, step, boom, good. All right, here we go, next group. First group, first group, first group, first group. Quick, quick. Okay, I want loose footwork. You're going right, left. Not too loose. Okay, all right, you're going out there. I want to see your loose footwork, loose footwork. Stay in it, stay in your stance when you're punching. Good, good, good. Okay, give me the next group. Nice job, y'all out here. Hey, 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 give me the next group. Here we go, we only got 10 seconds to get a bump. First group, first group. We got 10 seconds left. Hurry, hurry, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, good, all right, you use two hands, you got none left. One, two with your hands. Oh, one, two, good. Oh, hands and feet. Hands and feet, just to the ball, there you go. Oh, hands and feet, good. A little high there, Chandler. Oh, hands and feet, good. And hey, you gotta move your feet, you can't just swim your hands. Oh. There you go. Oh. There you go. There you go. There you go. Use your hand, Stone. Oh, use your hand. Oh! 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 oh. Hands and feet at the same time. There you go. Good. Good. Ah, uh, you gotta use your back hand. You gotta use your back hand. Hands and feet. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So I look like synchronized swimming right here. Ought to be like synchronized swimming. Boom, 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 sink it, sink your hips. Good, good. Sink your hips, sink your hips, sink your hips. Good, flatten it out. Boom, 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 sink your hips, that's it. Good, don't tackle yourself, man. Don't tackle yourself. Hey, Bobcats, make sure to show your love and follow the Bobcats on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and their YouTube channel. Show off your tailgating skills and team pride and you could win a $100 HEB gift card and bragging rights. To participate, all you have to do is show your team spirit by decking out your tailgate site and displaying HEB products in a creative way. Check out this week's winner. What do I like about Texas State? I love that we're close to Austin and San Antonio. The observatory, great stargazer. Our tech library. Our professors are amazing. Our round theater building. People watching on the quad. We're the only university in Texas to graduate a U.S. president. Our campus is so beautiful. I love our flexible class schedules. Saving turtles at the turtle crossing. Downtown San Marcos is practically on campus. The new labs at Star Park. I love that we can express ourselves. Grabbing lunch at Jones. Bobcat football. The glass bottom boat. So box dirty. <laughs> I'm doing amazing research. I love the squirrels around campus. I love exploring new ideas at Common Experience. When I see Old Main, I know I'm home. The courtyard at Taylor Murphy. I love our student art gallery. Climbing the rock wall at the rec center. I'm definitely jumping in the river at graduation. I'm just proud to be a Bobcat. Can I like say all my favorite things? <laughs> Normally, this time of the show, we preview the Bobcats opponent, but this week, we're looking at the Bobcats themselves. And for more insight on the program, we welcome Nick Castillo from the San Marcos Daily Record. And Nick, thanks for joining us. Looking at the Bobcats at this point of the year, certainly Texas State would like to have more wins, but it does seem as if there's been a lot of progress from the team this time a year ago. What's your assessment of the Bobcats at this stage of the season? I think it's a team that has showed some improvement. It's a team that uh, has shown, I believe, more talent on each side of the ball. On offense, though, they're they're still looking to run the ball a little bit more. Obviously, haven't had too much success there. But it's a team that shows that when they're dedicated to it, that they can have success. And on defense, that front seven has been really uh, impressive thus far. I mean, they've, excluding the UTSA game, they've really kept teams from running the ball on them. Uh, and I think there's a team that, that, despite, like you said, would definitely like to have more wins, but it's a team that's shown improvement throughout the year. One of the big storylines we're following this year is the youth of the football team, the players who will set the foundation for years to come. Who are some of the young guys that have stood out to you so far this season? 
Brian London is definitely one that, that always tends to stand out as a guy that's pretty young. He's definitely a big face of the program. He had a really good game against ULM the other day. Um, they also have some guys on offense. I think obviously we didn't we don't see him all the time, but, but Willie Jones is someone that I think they want to potentially be the, a face that's quarterback. And, and you have some young running backs as well that, that I think stand out. There's some guys they lost to, like uh, Ishmael Davis, who was having a, a really good season. And then you also have a guy like Easy Anyama who also stands out, but he's had some injuries as well. Those are some of the guys that, in, off the top of my head, have shined this season. Nick, you've alluded to some of the injuries the Bobcats have suffered this season to players like Ishmael Davis, Easy Anyama, Mason Hayes. Just how much of a toll have those injuries taken? I think that uh, there's been a lot of shuffling around because of it, and I think that gives trouble to any team that, that has to move parts around. And I think you've seen it on the defensive side, especially uh, with the loss of Davis. Um, and then you've seen guys that, like, uh, in the secondary, you've seen some shuffling around there because of uh, injuries coming into the season, but now you've got guys back. So I think it definitely has taken a toll on them. And then offensively, losing some guys on that side of the ball has been tough like any team would struggle uh, losing some of the guys they've, they've had, especially uh, on the defensive side like Ishmael Davis. We've seen what this team is capable of playing a game like they did against Appalachia State, the preseason Sunbelt Conference favorite down to the wire. What is it going to take for the Bobcats to play more games like that the rest of the year? Uh, consistency. What you saw in that end of, the end of that game uh, was a team that was fighting to, to win, and you need that every quarter. Uh, you look at the a game like last week's game against ULM where for two quarters they don't score a touchdown and you need you know if to win games you're going to have to be able to put up points and that's kind of what they need to to be able to do on the offensive side is to keep working down the field and keep scoring points and defensively you just need to to have have those guys out there more often and have playing time uh because cohesiveness is a big thing on defense, and it shows with the front seven. The front seven is a very cohesive group. They've shown it stopping the run. And then you just need that cohesiveness to grow in the secondary and it all come together for them. That's what it will take for them to have better performances. On the topic of the Sunbelt Conference, Nick, we mentioned Appalachia State. What are your impressions of the Sunbelt Conference? Uh, I think it's a very uh, competitive conference. If you look at a team like ULM, a team that struggled last year, now they're near the top of the standings in the Sun Belt. I think there's, I think every team is well matched to play each opponent, with the exception of maybe Troy. Troy has really showed uh, some success, especially beating LSU this year. But it's a league that I think is very uh, equal. It, it makes for some really fun games where that you see everybody uh, really compete against each other. Nick, your time covering the Bobcast runs nearly parallel with the time that Coach Withers has been the head coach of this program. What are your impressions of the job that he's done since his arrival here at Texas State? Um, so far, it's been a really tough road for him, and I think it's been uh, to see what he's been able to do recruiting has been pretty impressive with a team that had its struggles last year, but they brought in uh, what was ranked the number one recruiting class in, in the Sun Belt last uh, in the 2017 cycle. So uh, that's been impressive, and he's bringing in talent that, that they think they can have success with. Uh, obviously, uh, they're still in, in kind of a rebuild. And last year was tough, and this year might you know might be tough in the end. Uh, but I think that the program, uh, under his guidance, is, is going in the right direction. It's just a matter of, like you asked uh, about uh, what they can do to improve in games. It's just going to take consistency and having those young guys grow and mature into into upperclassmen, and that's when you know everything should click. It, it, so far, what he's been able to do is, is like I said, in the recruiting, uh, has been impressive. It, it's just going to take some time. Thanks again to Nick, and that will do it for this week's show. I'm Brant Freeman, reminding you to trust the path. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.